To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline with a swan that I'd like to zoom in on while leaving the rest of the video alone. The best way to do this is by going over to the effects panel. Type magnify into the search box. Drag the magnifying effect onto your clip on the timeline. Make sure your clip is selected and go over to magnify and effect controls. Under magnify, you can set the shape to either a circle or a square, I'm going to stick with a circle. To change the center position of your shape, you can either click the center setting and drag around its anchor point in the video preview, or you can just drag the center's values and effect controls to change it manually. The magnification setting is going to affect how much it's zoomed in, I'm going to increase this to 200. The size setting will affect how big your shape is. And you can also increase the feather setting if you don't want your zoomed in shape to have sharp edges. Okay, the magnifying effect works great, but I'm going to undo this and show you the other way to do it. Go back over to the effects panel and type transform into the search box. Under distort, drag the transform effect onto your video clip on the timeline. Make sure your video clip is selected and then scroll down to the second transform effect in effect controls. Under transform, click the circle or square to create a mask around the object you'd like to zoom in on. And you can just drag the mask's handles to adjust its size, or drag the center of the mask to adjust its position. Now simply increase the scale to zoom into the part of your video covered by your mask. Lastly, you can also increase the mask's feather if you don't want the sharp edges of the mask's shape. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.